the job, the big job to make sure others do not allow him to run over top of his anchor line. Obviously, that will not be good. Hey guys, this is Russ with Trophy Seeker Outdoors. Um, Today I'm going to show you something that I learned uh, many years ago from Captain Brian Smith of Big Ben Charters. He used an anchor ball system uh, because out on the saltwater boats the anchors are so heavy and you use such a long piece of anchor road or anchor chain that uh, getting the anchor up can be kind of difficult and very tiring. So I spoke with Daryl about this and told him, you know, told him the advantages and that it would also work in the river here also, especially whenever uh, the spot lock system, when the current is too strong for spot lock, to be able to hold us in place. Not only that, but for folks that get tired easy, myself, you know, Daryl, Woody, um, and the way the system works is once you get your anchors out and set up, what you'll do is when you drop your anchor overboard, this anchor ball system has a stainless steel loop. It's got the double eyes on it. When you get your anchor, get ready to set your anchor out, you'll drop the majority of your line out. Try and let your anchor hit the bottom, if possible. Slide your line through this loop. Once it's through there, you lock this in place. Once that's done, and you're backing down to get your anchor to set, and you tie off on your cleat, or however you tie your anchor off, when you decide that you're ready to move, you're going to run at about a 45 degree angle away from your anchor line. And as you run away from your anchor line, this, this ball, because of the pressure that the current causes from the boat, will run down your anchor line and slide all the way down and will come all the way up through your anchor chain, which inevitably comes up and catches your anchor and it floats the anchor and all you have to do is just have somebody or yourself just turn the boat around very gently bumping it in and out of gear to just hand over hand get your anchor line in without having to try to pull pulling the head all the weight from the bottom of, of the river depending on how deep you are fishing okay guys now that we've talked about how the system works we're going to take the opportunity to actually drop the anchor and set the entire rig up so that you can see how how it works being deployed and then whenever we get ready to unanchor so that you'll get to see uh, both aspects of how this system works while russell's getting ready i'd like to tell you about our friends at demon dragons go to their website www.demondragons.com and if you use the code chunky20 you can get 20% off your online order. Go check them out. Thank you. Okay, folks, we're fixing to deploy our anchor here. Always remember, never let anchor line get around your foot or around your arm. That's one of the main safety uh, features because uh, it can be very dangerous. So what we're gonna do here, we've got our anchor and anchor line. We're going to drop this over. As it's going over, we've hit bottom here, so we're going to connect our slip ring. Always make sure that once you do that, make sure that this locks in. We are locked in, so now we will deploy the anchor ball. Daryl is going to bank, back the boat up. And once we once the anchor locks in for the position where we want to fish, we will tie off. Okay, we've got a good anchor set, so we're going to come around and lock our anchor in. That is how your system's going to look whenever you get to where you're doing. Now we say we're finished fishing this spot, we need to go somewhere, so Daryl is going to crank the boat. Daryl's going to drive at roughly a 45 degree angle away from this anchor line. And as he does, 
the job, the big job to make sure others do not allow him to run over top of his anchor line. Obviously, that will not be good. Now he's going to speed up. And he's going to run until that ball bounces real heavy. At this point, you can see it bouncing real heavy. He has caught the anchor, so now he is going to come back to just being in gear and turning, turning the boat back towards that. As he does that, I will retrieve the anchor line. So technically the only weight that we have to contend with is just the weight of the anchor on the ball. I get to the side of the boat. You can see that the anchor loop caught the ball. I will tell you with um, using river anchors and using the zip ties, 99% of the time it's going to end up breaking the zip ties, but it's still going to catch the ball for you. So that's the only downfall. Versus you can always take and put some extra tape zip tie it put some duct tape on it but you know the more you add to that if it, if you do get hung in some heavy rocks you may not be able to break your breakaway anchor free from it as easily yeah i will say this guy i'll come in here and say something just real quick like i would rather spend five cents on a zip tie and break that zip tie loose on a river anchor and, and of course if you're not using a river anchor this thing works perfect and you don't have to worry about that but i'd rather spend five cents on that pulling a hey we we anchor in 100 foot deep water sometimes that anchor with the chain and all weighs 25 or 30 pounds so i'd rather pay five cents for, to put another zip tie on i keep 100 in the boat at all times as to pull that thing all day long every day exactly so. we experienced that yeah. but now that daryl Took my advice and I and, and I gen and <laughs> took I, me a long time. It took him a little while, but, but I'm a believer. But I genuinely appreciate what he done because now he even realizes when he fishes alone to yeah. shoot some videos that at the end of the day he's not wore out from having to lift up and down and up and down on this anchor from even 25 foot yeah. of water is difficult. And as you guys can see, I've got a uh, trolling motor that actually will spot lock, and that works great in a river, but if there's not enough current, sometimes we have to anchor off the back. And I'll give you a pro tip here. You can put that thing head north and put it on a couple of, like, put it on two or three, and it'll steady hold you straight, and that battery's not eating up much if you're just putting it on one or two or three or whatever, just enough to keep you straight. And you can fish like that also, and the boat will never turn. It's just because it's pulling against that anchor. And we've done that plenty of times when the yes, wind was too much and it was blowing us up the river. But, uh, you know, there's always going to be a time. I never leave the house without anchor, even though I had spot lock. And Russ gave me this, and, it, and I finally got it, and uh, it, I love it. So you guys yeah, He told me one day out. it was money well spent. Yeah. Like I say, I have to give a big shout-out to Captain Brian E. Smith, Big Ben Charter, Steen Hatchie, Florida. Taught me a lot of stuff, and now... Uh, that I'm fishing with Daryl. I'm learning a lot new new and more techniques. Hey, we so. all learn off of each other. That's, that's, that's right. the thing of it is. You're always learning off of each other. So anyway, we wanted to bring this to you. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something from it and maybe this will help you guys out in the future. Yep, hope this little tidbit helped you. Uh, I'm Russ. I'm Daryl. And Woody's behind the camera and we're Trophy Seekers Outdoors. Like and subscribe, please. Hit the bell. See ya. Guys, we sure do appreciate you hanging out with us today. We hope you find this video helpful. If you don't mind, do us a favor. Go over to our website, www.tsoutdoors.net. And while you're in there, check out our decals, shirts, and hats. Thank you, and God bless.